Hello, I'm Robert Serrett, and I'm here today to give you the module rundown of the Assimilator, an oscillator slash uh, synth voice that I made inspired by Noise Engineering's uh, Belimba... This <laughs> I was doing so good on pronouncing this. The Basimilus Eteritas Altair. <sighs> what a tongue twister. And the Sync Iter. The Basimilus Eteritas Altair is a drum percussion module that can also be a synth voice, and the Sync Iter is a basic oscillator that can also be a source of modulation. And that's kind of what I wanted to do with this. As you can see, you can have basic waveforms, but these are actually nine oscillators together. And like the Basilmos Eterata Salter, they go from unison to kind of arbitrary uh, ratios. And then at full, full volume, they're the harmonic series. So it's the first seven harmonics. Uh, of course, when you do that, you get a lot of phase cancellation. And you do just like a little bit of it. Uh, you, you see that you get this kind of groovy phasing effect where the triangle and sine wave begin to phase cancel. This becomes a super saw, and this becomes like a bit crushed triangle wave. It sounds lovely. Um, and then this is the, so this is the harmonic spread. This is the percussion or noisiness. For the top two, they remodulate all nine oscillators together and then distort them. And for the bottom two, they mix uh, in a little bit of white noise that's being filtered as you bring up the parameter along with some wave folding. And what that allows us to do is you can use the triangle wave to create kind of pseudo percussion if you're just going for a textural effect. And you know, it will also uh, give us more variety in timbres. Okay, so I think that's about it. Let me just go over the inputs real quick. These are the four outputs. This is the sync input, so you can make sync waves with this as well. Phase modulation input, 720 degrees of phase modulation, peak to peak. That's a lot of phase modulation, a little goes a long way. Two of these together, uncharted sonic territory. This is the envelope, it controls the low pass gate. And this is the, the pitch control, the one, one per octave. Gonna bring out a demo. I have a sequence queued up on my Arturia keystep. All right, so just real quick, that's the triangle. Square. Sawtooth. Folded wave. Of all of them, I like this one the best on its own, just because it has that West Coast vibe. Uh, but let's take the triangle again, and let's just add a little bit of harmonic phase, or harmonic spread. Get a really kind of interesting phase, phase modulation. And if we bring up this distortion, we get scattering harmonics. A little reverb. I think that's a pretty interesting pad sound. And of course, you can mix and match. And then you can go into crazy textural territory with the intermediate values. And there's another sweet spot. And because this is also a timbre uh, control as well as a uh, amplitude control, uh, changing the sustain level of the envelopes really changes the timbre. And this is a full harmonic spread. And again, you can just, once they're completely phase locked, you can phase align them by tapping the sync kit. Or you can just use that to kind of modulate, create new kind of like pseudo random waveforms. All right. Yeah, so that's kind of how you use it as a, a kind of a more gentle synth voice. 
I'm going to bring up another patch that has a bunch of gates and envelopes going to these two parameters. Or I guess you can only send one of them have a gate, the other will have an envelope. All right, let me check out the, the wet effects for a spe uh, second. All right, so this is the reticulated gate pattern, and it's uh, has a couple of extra pattern uh, generators that are sending uh, gates and pulses, and I guess also modulating. Let's have it modulate a pan. So you can get like a bass and uh, a melody and some percussion sounds. I'm just going to increase the tempo a little bit. I'm going to double the tempo. And I'm going to bring in some wet effects. Alright, well, uh, thank you very much. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, feedback, please leave a comment below. Thank you very much. Thank you.